Today I want to show you how you can create a parallax shader or also known as a bump offset material. So with the shader we will create something like a depth to our material so that it looks much more realistic. And now we'll show you how to create something like that. First of all you need those three textures here. First of all a diffuse map, then of course a normal map, and a bump offset map. It should look like this here and you can easily create it with, with a generator or something like that or you can even download it from Google. But you need such a bump offset map. Okay, now let's start. First of all, do a right click onto your diffuse texture and then go to create new material. Then a double click onto your texture and now we can start. First of all, drag your normal map into the material editor. Then drag the bump map into your material editor. And in here we have to connect the normal map with the normal. Then up here at search we have to type in bump and then just add the bump offset node. And connect it with the diffuse from the UV and the UV from the normal. And the bump map has to be connected with the height. So we'll connect this red channel here with the height. In your case it could also be the blue channel, green channel, but I will use the red channel now. And of course you could also store the bump map into your normal map or into your diffuse map, but I've just created it separately. But of course you can store it in the alpha channel. Okay, now you can already see here we get an effect here. But now we can also adjust this here. So just click onto your bump offset node and in here you can see height ratio and reference plane. Here we can choose how far it should stand out. So for example when we type in 0.07 and it stands out much more as you can see here. And that's it. That's how to create a pretty basic parallax shader. So just click onto apply. Then I will drag and drop it to this wall here. Just to compare it, I will just create a copy of this one here. Then I will delete the bump offset part and click on apply. And then we put this on this wall here. And after that, you can see the difference between the parallax shader and the normal shader after it has compiled. And here you can see it. As you can see here, it looks much more realistic and it looks as it stands out from the wall so that we have a depth. When we move here, it looks not so realistic, but when we come to this side, it really looks like those stones are standing out of the wall. And that's the trick behind the parallax shader. You can see here from above, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's it. That's how to create a pretty basic parallax shader in the Unreal 4. Thank you for watching and until next time.